hello audio file. Today I will show you how to make an XLR balance cable for biodynamic DRE 150 monitoring headphones. This tutorial can also be useful for DRE 180, DRE 190, DRE 2080 or biodynamic DRE 290 headphone models. What is balance drive? To simply put, four cables are used instead of three, where each headphone speaker is pumped by the coupled part of the amp. To use such cable, you also need a headphone amp that provides balanced output. To make the cable, you will need a soldering tool kit with different tools, then another 4-pin XLR connector plug, or another if your balanced amp has a different kind of output. You will also need a good quality audio cable with four cores. In my case, it is Clot Star Quad Low Noise, without unnecessary audio file snake oil, just a good cable. We will still need the original cable, as we will use the 6-pin plug for it as a donor for our new XLR balanced cable. If you are ready, let's get started. Start by measuring the length of the cable you need. By building your own cable, you have a completely free hand to choose. Then cut out the length of the cable you need. An XLR balanced cable like this will cost you around 60 to 70 euros in a shop. Making it yourself, it will cost no more than 15 to 20 euros. The next task is to deassemble the 6-pin jack so we can figure out the pinout for further work. Take your prepared sheet of paper where you write the wiring of the 4-pin XLR balance connection. As you can see, 3 wires and 4 pins originally arrived, two of which are connected together for ground contact. On the paper, draw the 6-pin connector pin layout. With the help of multimeter, find out which pin is which channel. Then solder the socket cable wires as the original wiring will no longer be needed. The next task is to remove the outer sheet of the new cable and separate the shield wires. Take a small heat shrink tube and put it on the cable. At your own discretion, give each channel color to make soldering easier afterwards. Place the new trick XLR parts on top of the unfinished end of the cable, which will be a problem to put on after soldering, so put them on now. Then, we also remove the outer jacket and separate the ground wires at this end of the cable. For each small conductor wire, remove the insulation and thin it so that they can be soldered to the connector more easily and qualitatively. Here is the pin numbering of the XLR connector so you know where to solder which wire. Then, solder all the wires to the XLR connector by color as you wrote on the sheet of paper before. Solder the cable shield wire in the place where it's supposed to be to the trigger on the XLR connector. Then take the insulating tape, cut it into strips and wrap them around each contact, thus preventing a possible short circuit in the future. Then fasten the heat shrink tubing previously applied to the cable. Then screw together the XLR connector itself, as this end of the cable will be finished. Make a locking loop from the shield wire for the original 6-pin plug. The cable will last longer clamped this way. Place and attach a heat shrink tubing on the cable to better fit the 6-pin jack. Then remove the insulation from all the wires and thin the conductors themselves to make it easier to solder the pins. Then solder all four wires but correctly as you wrote on the sheet, otherwise it will not work correctly. Here is the result. Two wires for each channel. You might have different colors. As for XLR, you also install insulating tape for each pin to prevent possible problems. Coming closer to the finish line, now put back the original 6-pin jack. This will take some patience, as we now have more and bigger better quality wires, the original ones were much smaller. It wasn't that bad, looks like new, only better. This is balanced headphones cable for buyer dynamic. Last step. All that's left is to check with multimeter that everything is soldered correctly. Since you're on the tech screw channel, this is where things get serious, so put some heat shrink tubing on here too to make this connector hold together tighter. Yes, yes, that's done. We have made together a balanced cable for biodynamic DD150, DD180, DD190, DD2080 or biodynamic DD2090 headphones. I like the new Chick 4-pin XLR jack, it is a great combo for enjoying quality music. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions, post them in comments and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe to support our money saving DIY movement. Thank you.